Kelvin Ariol in the CX Racing FCRX7. Ooh, Kelvin. It's exploding that front bumper. As it says on his windshield, dang. Uh-oh. So today is Sunday. I really didn't do anything yesterday because it was cold and rainy. And, uh, you know, I was out editing or editing the footage from the car meet on Friday. Another update. You guys got my engine. We're going to start inspecting it, change the rod bearings, main bearings, thrust bearings, inspect everything. The cross hatches actually look pretty good on this motor still. And uh, start cleaning up all these parts and start assembling it. Who you? Is this? Vlog dog. Vlog dog. No, I'm not going to put it right there. I'm going to just put it right there. Anyways, vlog dog. I haven't seen this guy since our uh, Anza Borrego trip. You guys you see know? this blue Corolla? Two weeks. I got it running. Two weeks. Engine rebuilt. Threw a piston in it. Threw some motor mounts. And never got to drive it. Well, it's right here, man. You know, honestly, I think this motor has rod knock. A slight rod knock. I mean, I we threw it together real quick, though. Did we put a new rod bearing? No, we threw it together, whatever was there. So, I'm going to say it has rod knock. Uh, link in the video right here. And then the piston is not balanced to the motor. So, we just threw a new piston and then slapped it together, siliconed it, and... I mean, it, and then it started. I mean, it runs. It runs. It's quick. It's all right. I, it's not something I'd want to go drip because they're telling no, me. No, definitely to not. You bring want it. You to want the something re re reliable. I want to take my time. I don't want to rush. You know. <laughs> ah, what is this? <laughs> yeah. A little update, right? You guys remember? There's a couple holes in the block, and the bore's all messed up. You know. What are your thoughts? You start from oil, that's what I think. Yeah, probably. So. Oil starvation causes your engine to look like that. Yeah, I agree. Anyways, got a lot of cleaning to do. Gonna get the pump for the parts washer today for this thing, clean this out, and then we can start cleaning these parts. Well guys, I wasn't sure what I wanted to use, but I'm just going to play it safe and use simple green. So what did I get? Well, off Amazon warehouse, I got this burner for $10, right? Look at that. Thanks to you, this product has a second life. And then I got this pump here. This pump originally is like I don't know, 80 bucks. I got it on Amazon warehouse for about 20 bucks shipped. So, doesn't look too bad, right? There's the inlet, there's the outlet. It's uh, dipped into epoxy. So I wonder if this can handle high temperature though. Remember I said I didn't want to pour all the simple green just in case there's a leak. Well, there's a leak. Okay, so since there's a leak, what do we do? Just let it drip back into the bottle. This has become the worst $20 spent ever. This is terrible. Let's try welding it. special tool here. Okay, I don't think I see any light shining through. Put it the other way. Hmm. 
<laughs> this is gonna be terrible. And at this point, I just wanna spray it real close, but it's gonna take forever to dry. I know if it's dry, if it's black. Okay, so to get this thing to dry faster, I just have it in here. She's looking pretty dry. Okay, did another layer. Just using whatever paint I had. It's been 48 hours since I've let this dry. I welded all the pinholes and painted it which was way too much work. So now I'm gonna fill it up with water and see if it leaks. There's already a pinhole. Should have just threw this thing away. All right, so I'm just gonna smear some silicone on top of these pinholes. Good news guys, I got the pump going. I got the pump going. Bad news is it's Thursday and Corolla Mud Series on Saturday. But check that out. I didn't uh, want to make a whole video on a parts washer. It was leaking a little more so I even slapped on some aluminum tape over the silicone. Okay, nothing but bad ideas. We have nothing but bad ideas here. We got this hot plate here. Okay guys, so parts washer was a success. If you look at the temperature right now, it's like 93. I turned off the hot plate, it was down there. Um, super sketchy, but placed the placing, so clean enough. All right guys, I'm closing out this parts washer video and cleaning video. The next video is gonna be me finally assembling the motor. So thank you for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button.